expectation of a function of a random variable. A random variable is x. Well, now we want to know the expectation of a function of x. That is, we want to know if x is a random variable, what is the expectation of g of x? Okay, so let's do a problem. Suppose we let x be a random variable. And we're going to do this problem two different ways. Decide which one you like best. Let x be a random variable that takes on the values values negative 1, 0, 1. Takes on those three values. And you're given that the probability that x is 1 is 0.3. Let's suppose the probability that x is 0 is 0.6. And to make it all add up to 1, let the probability that x equals 1 be 0.1. And we want to find the probability, sorry, no probability, but the expected value of, say, x squared. Find e not of x, but a function of x, x squared. Okay. The best one way of doing this is to say, let y equal x squared. So what values can y take on? What values can y take on? Well, if x is negative 1 and you square it, y would be 1. If x is 0 and you square it, it's still 0. And if x is 1, you square it, y can be 1, which I already denoted. So y can be 1 or 0. Now, what is the probability that y is equal to 1? Well, that equals the probability. Now, think how we got 1. We got 1 from y, x being negative 1, and x equal 1. The probability that y equals negative 1, sorry, x equals negative 1, or the probability that x is positive 1. But we know these two probabilities. That should say negative 1, sorry. The probability that x is negative 1 is negative 0.3 plus the probability that x is 1, 0.1. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1. 0 0.4. Okay, now the probability that y is equal to 0, well that's just the probability that x is 0. There's only one way for y to be 0, and that's when x is 0. And that probability is 0.6. Okay, so in here, we'll make up our little table. We have y, and we have p of y. And y can be 0, y can be 1, and that's it. The probability that y is 0 is 0.6. And the probability that y equals 1 is 0.4. So e of y, that is e of x squared, will equal this product, which is 0, plus this product, which is 0 0.4. 0 plus 0 0.4 is 0 0.4. Now, 
I just want you to note something. X was able to take on the values negative 1, 0, and 1, and their corresponding probabilities was 0 0.3, 0 0.6 for 0, and 0 0.1. Now, E of X, E of X is equal to negative 0.3 plus 0 plus 0.1. It equals negative 0.2. And if you were to take E of X and square it, you will get negative 0.2 squared, which is 0.04. And notice that E of X squared does not equal to E of X squared. If you take the expected value of x, point, negative point 0.2, and square it. It is not the same as finding the expected value of x squared. Okay, that doesn't work. Just like f of x squared usually does not equal to f of x all squared. There are cases when they do equal. I mean, if f of x is always 0, then f of x squared will be 0. This one way of doing this problem. Like I said, there's another way. Some students like it one way, others like it the other way. We have, or are given, this information, whether it's in a table form or not, negative 1, x can be 0, x can be positive 1. And their corresponding probabilities will be 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and 0 0.1. And we want to find E of x squared. Now, what you can do is the following. Just modify your table. Notice that what I'm writing down so far is going to be the same. Negative 1, 0, 1. Point 0.3. Whoops, I didn't mean to put it there. Point 0.3, point 0.6, point 0.1. Other than having this space in the middle, they were exactly the same. It's exactly the same table as the beginning one. But what you need to do is put in what g of x is. That is x squared. If x is negative 1, then x squared will be positive 1. Square it. Square it. Just square them. Do what? Do g of x to each of their x values. Now, mold, this, there's this theorem that says that E of G of x is nothing more than add up, not x times P of x, but G of x times the P of x over all possible values for x. In our case, negative 1, 0, and 1. What does this mean to us, this theorem? This theorem is rather nice. It says multiply g of x by p of x. Multiply 1 times 0.3 plus 0 times 0.6 plus 1 times 0.1 1 times 0.1 and you get 0.3 plus 0, which I won't bother with, plus this is 0.1. And what do you know? We got the same answer as before. Having done this, it, it seems like this is the easier way. Just multiply g of the x values. First, find g of the x values. 
and then multiply as g of the x values by the probabilities of those x values and simply add them up. There's nothing big going on here. It is very, very straightforward. Okay, if you have another problem, suppose that the x values can take on, so let's just go right to our table. The x values can take on the numbers negative 3, 0, and 4. And the probability that x is one of those numbers, probability that x is our negative 3 is 0.1, 0, 0.6, and 4, 0.3. And we want to find not e of x. e of x would be simple. It would be this product plus this product plus that product. Just remember to want e of x. Just add up x times p of x for all x's. Okay, that's the formula to find e of x. I'm going to cross this out because no more on this problem does it say to find e of x. In fact, it's going to say compute or find e of 2 plus x squared. What's e of 2 plus x squared? Well, the key thing is to find their 2 plus x line. Okay. X's can be negative 3 and 0 and 4. And p of x, the corresponding p of x's are 0 0.1, 0 0.6, and 0.3. Well, if you add 2 to x and you square it, you'll get 2 plus x squared. Add 2 to this number, you get negative 1. Square it, 1. Add 2 to this number, you get 2. Square it, you get 4. Add 2 to this number, you get 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. You square it, you get 36. Take 2 and add x to it. 2 plus negative one, 3 is negative 1. Square it, you get x. Sorry, you get 1. 2 plus 0 is 0. You square it, you get good old 4. 2 plus 4 2 plus x, but x is 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Square, you get 36. Now, if you want to find the expected value of 2 plus x squared, multiply those two numbers, the 2 plus x squared by the corresponding probabilities, plus multiply these two numbers, you get 2.4 plus Multiply these two numbers, you get 108, you get 10.8. Then you add them. 2 plus 10 is 12, 13.2, 13.3. .2, the correct way to add is not right to left, but left to right. Okay, nonetheless, the expected value of 2 plus x squared is 13.3. Just compute g of the given x values and then multiply g of the x values by the probability of the x values. Let us try one more. You'll be given some x values for the random variable x and the corresponding or probabilities. Suppose the random variable x can take on the numbers one half, one third, and negative a quarter. With the corresponding probabilities being 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5.
and you are being asked to find the expected value of 1 over x squared. That's g of x. So maybe it's even easier to just put it down here. 1 over x squared. Which, by the way, is the same as 1 over x, and then square that. Well, if that's x, 1 over x is 2. And you square it, you get 4. 1 over x, the reciprocal of 1 third is 3. You, you need to realize that if two quantities are equal, then their reciprocals are equal. If x is equal to 1 half, take the reciprocal of this. Why? Because you want to get 1 over x. Take the reciprocal of the other side, 2. Now square both sides. 1 over x squared is 4. If x is equal to 1 third, then 1 over x is 3. Square it, you get 9. The reciprocal of that will be negative 4. You square it, you get 16. Now, not a big issue finding what this equals. It equals 2. Multiply those two numbers. You get 0.8 plus multiply these two numbers. You get 2.7 plus half or 16. I like to call that half when I'm multiplying. Half or 16 is 8. You get 13.5 if I'm doing my arithmetic correctly. The expected value of 1 over x squared is 13.5. As promised, there's not much going on here as long as you know how to evaluate functions. G of 1 over, sorry, G of x is equal to 1 over x squared. Okay, so what's G of a half? Now again, you can think of 1 over x squared as 1 over x all squared. You need to find out what g of a half is, which is 1 over x, which is a half squared, which is 1 over a quarter, which is 4. That's why I have 4 under x equal a half. g of a third is nothing more than 1 over a third squared, which is 1 over a ninth, which is 9. And since we're doing it, let's finish. G of negative a quarter is 1 over negative a quarter squared. And 1 over, sorry, negative a quarter squared is a sixteenth. And 1 over the sixteenth is 16. And that is how I get this bottom row. And I multiply those G of X's by the corresponding probabilities. This is g of x. And e of g of x is g of x times p of x plus, that is that pair, plus another g of x times p of x plus another g of x times p of x plus another g of x times p of x if there is another g of x. But there isn't. There are no numbers here. This completes this section on probability, sorry, expected value of a function. Okay, I hope you understood this well.